What up everybody, so a few exploits have been forwarded to me recently and as per normal I feel it's only fair to share it with the entire world because that's the fastest way of getting it fixed. Big shout out to MB Hound by the way for messaging me this. He has helped me with exploits in the past. Now I am on a different Steam account because I plan to test these exploits out. So I will read the messages from my phone. Basically you download this file rename the original pack file, launch CSGO, change your shader settings from low to high or high to low, basically just causing the game to reload the shaders. And this should allow you to see player models through walls, essentially having an in-game wall hack without using any third-party software whatsoever, just purely in-game files slightly modified. You can see more on this GitHub page right behind me. Basically an SV Pure bypass that's been implemented poorly. And for some of the pack files, it's possible to bypass the check. So time to test this out. I have extracted the modified pack file right here to my desktop and then I will be putting it in my CSGO folder and it will be replacing this file right here. So we're going to rename this file to vpk.back. There we go. Yes. Now we're going to launch CSGO. Is that meant to do that? I guess it is. I guess it is meant to do that. I'm sure a lot of people are already using this in matchmaking, but for now I'm just going to stick to casual because this video is merely for demonstration purposes and how easy it is, how it can be done, and how we need to get out of the game as quick as possible. So now we take the underscore out from our modified pack and then we go to our video options and change the shaders to low so it reloads from the pack file. And wow, our guy is already looking... <laughs> I don't know if he's sketchier than the black model we had earlier, but he's looking pretty translucent right now. And I decided to test this offline in a local server, but this is the result. As you can see, that is uh, incredibly glitchy and incredibly wall hacky. I can literally see people completely through the walls. <laughs> That's actually pretty sick. <laughs> oh, look at these one things. Oh my goodness, I'm amazing, but I'm cheating. I had a few problems joining an online server because of the SP Pure kicking me and realizing that I'd replaced the pack file. But there is a very, very easy fix for that, which I'm not going to say because hopefully less people use it that way. But as I said, this video was merely for demonstration and I think offline like this, it has been perfectly demonstrated. Literally, when you get near people, they show up perfectly through the wall. It's absolutely crazy, especially considering that they just implemented the whole trusted mode. And this is possible. And I'm not using any third party software whatsoever. So I'm going to join Team Terrorist to see what it looks like from this perspective. And I immediately know if anyone is near or not, because they're just going to show up through the wall. So no one is near here. No one's even around here. I wonder what the CTs have been doing. They've been rushing ramp. Here they are. There we go. There's one. I can see his little hat. His head. The head's coming through the wall. They're too much. They're too much for me to handle. They're just ridiculous, to be honest. He's <laughs> just a floating head through a wall running away. I mean, it gives you the biggest advantage, to be honest. He's going down ramp. His other friend's here. It's big blatant wool hack time. Boom, one tap. And then we got the second guy down here. Where is he? He's hiding here. And the one tap. I don't like this. I don't like it at all because it's literally just replacing a file within CSGO. Not using any cheats whatsoever. And the game is just allowing this to happen. Especially after they've just implemented trusted mode. Which the whole point of trusted mode was to get rid of cheats basically and not allow third party programs to interact with the game that's completely understandable but this is a massive bypass for it because this is not a third party program this is just a game file replaced and it amazes me how they can overlook something so incredibly damaging to the game like this and allow a pack file to be replaced that literally causes a natural wall hack. Let's check out the next exploit. Credit goes to uh, Catalerius, by the way, for these last two. So we put this platform folder that he has supplied in our Counter-Strike Global Offensive folder right here. And there we go, it's in there. I'm gonna join a casual game first, see if I get kicked by SV Pure or not. I know there is a bypass for that, so you can use all of these exploits online as well. But I'm interested in whether this one actually kicks me straight away. And I'm in the server, doesn't seem to be kicking me whatsoever. I wonder if it's completely taken out smokes or not. We're just gonna have to spawn in and then we're going to have to test it for ourselves. So let's go. Is there gonna be a smoke there? Absolutely not. Look at that. How ridiculous. You can literally see 
exactly through smokes. I can't buy another one because I just bought one. When you're actually in the smoke, it appears fully smoked. But if there's a smoke that you're not in, which is what 90% of smokes anyway, then you can literally just shoot people exactly. <laughs> Look, apparently there was a smoke there. Apparently there was a smoke there. I have no idea, but the kill feed says otherwise. So that is exploit number two. I don't think I personally need to cover that anymore whatsoever. It's pretty obvious. You can use no smoke by literally just putting a file in the CSGO folder. You don't even get kicked from don't servers for it. Guys. I'm sure you can use it in matchmaking, probably use it in face it, probably use it in ESCA and things like that. I wouldn't recommend using it on any of those things I wouldn't recommend using it full stop because although these exploits should not get you vacked because it's not using any third party software it's purely manipulating in game files that already exist if you're going around in like league games or matchmaking games or something like that just shooting people through smoke or blatantly wall hacking people with those crazy floaty head models then you're bound to bring some attention to yourself and you're probably going to get overwatched but the overwatch system itself is incredibly exploitable if you know what you're doing there's a video coming up on that soon which is like an absolutely mind-blowing video really exposing some deep deep dark stuff about CSGO and there's our smoke but where's our smoke it's it's not there so for this last exploit we need to go into our platforms folders shaders once again messing around with the shaders and this is our existing no smoke exploit which i might just leave in there for the time being but we're also going to add our fong modified fong file in here and then for demonstration purposes once again let's join a dust to casual we are in is the natural wall hack going to work <laughs> Wow. Wow. Look at that. And we're not getting kicked whatsoever. These are some big, big exploits and it's crazy that they all came out at the same time. Obviously, someone found the exact method of doing it and that has opened up a whole world of exploits. I would not recommend using this whatsoever because you're probably going to get yourself banned and then you might come to me and start complaining and say, Sparkle, I can't believe I am banned. Well, here I am in advance telling you that there definitely is a chance that you will be banned from using some of these because it's a player model hack where you can see through walls. It's a smoke hack where there's like literally no smoke whatsoever. And then there's a wall hack here, which just basically takes out random walls from the map which is absolutely crazy that you can use all of these and somehow not even get kicked from the server the server doesn't even recognize that you're using any of these can we get someone on the cross when he comes out of spawn no <laughs> however there is this massive glitchy thing all over my screen if i look at a certain angle if i'm looking what to the south then it shows up. I'm not sure to what extent the maps are affected by this. I'm not sure which maps are affected by this, but I can Trouble. see that this is definitely a very big problem and uh, something is gonna have to be done about it because I can literally see if anyone's in pit from here, which is absolutely crazy. It's not exactly a full map uh, wall hack. On it's only, I guess, affecting certain behind. areas of the map, I presume, with certain it's textures, behind. something like that. But the fact you can do this and you can get away with it and you can see into various parts of the map that you're definitely not meant to see into is worrying for CS. Really hope this video oh, catches okay, the yeah, attention so. of somebody in Valve. Maybe they'll actually start to care a little bit about it because they are implementing the whole trusted thing and then this thing makes them look like an absolute joke. You know, I'm not sure how long they've spent on the trusted system. And then all you have to do is put one file in your game folder and, and then you've got a wall hack. But this does make them look really, really, really bad, to be honest. If anyone from Valve is watching, fix your game. Should be quite an easy fix, I think. Just implementing the shaders into the uh, whole SB Pure system. I obviously don't really know what I'm talking about 100%, but all I know is there are three massive exploits right now, all of which are incredibly easy to do and all of which give you a very, very large advantage in game. Big shout out to MB Hound once again for messaging me this exploit, or all of these exploits rather, there's so many of them. If you enjoyed this video, please slap a like on it. That will help spread it around as much as possible. The more likes, the more views, the more likely it is to catch Valve's attention, the more likely it is to get taken out of the game. That's the logic. It's like a whole ding, 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 ping pong scenario. Remember, if you do use any of these, Use them at your own risk. I am not responsible whatsoever for you getting banned. I do not want you coming and crying to me that you've been banned. And I will see all of you in the next video, guys. Take it easy.